do is we're going to chop some beetroot. I like to slice it into kind of thin rounds. You don't have to be too exact about it. I just get the pre-cooked beetroot. So you've got your nice beetroot fingers after that. So I just kind of get a platter or a wide bowl and I just kind of lay it out. We're going to be just layering all the ingredients on top of this. We're not going to be tossing the salad in any way. Okay, and then onto that, I'm just going to season it ever so lightly. Just a little bit of salt, a bit of rock salt. And a little bit of black pepper. And then you're just going to leave that and we're going to move on to the dressing. It's such a, a light dressing and we're just using uh, basically the, the juice of these two citrus fruits and this is going to be the basis for my dressing. You get quite a lot of juice out of these. There's no oil in this dressing either, so it's actually a really healthy, vibrant dressing. Lots of zesty flavours. Okay, I'm just going to season that. A little bit of salt again. A little bit of pepper. I just love pepper with citrus flavours. And a little bit of maple syrup as well. You could use agave if you wanted. This is just to kind of bring out the sweetness of those citrus fruits. Like so. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we've got our fennel here, which has been really thinly sliced. If you're not familiar with fennel, it's got a kind of anise -y flavor, which some people hate. I personally love it, but it can be a little bit abrasive. So what I like to do is just marinate it for a few minutes in a little bit of the dressing. Not too much again, just a little bit over there. And then just using your fingers, just kind of work it through and that'll just soften the fennel. You want it to still have a little bit of crunch but there we go. Set that aside. So I just want to explain what I've done here. I've just segmented one grapefruit, one orange and also I've sliced some lime. Obviously I've taken the skin off it, off it, the, the fruit and then final ingredient that we're going to add and I just like to prep it now is we've got some flat leaf parsley and a little bit of mint so I just kind of roughly chop it that's it and you can just like give it a little mix like this okay so back to the beetroot so I'm just going to sprinkle over a little bit of the herbs at this stage because like I said we're not tossing it so we're just trying to boost a little bit of the flavour before we kind of layer on all the rest of the ingredients. That's enough. We're going to put a little bit of our fennel over it and just now you can see that all the colours are starting to come alive here. And you can see a little bit of the dressing at the bottom. You can put as little or as much of the fennel on as you want. It really depends. That's enough. It's about half a fennel bulb. And then at this stage I just like to take just over a little bit more of the dressing. Like so. And if you let this sit, this is actually a salad that you can make in advance because if you let it sit, all the flavours really meld and marinate together. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is layer on all your beautiful citrus fruits. Just one lime is fine because obviously lime is quite a strong flavour. And I'm, don't be afraid to just push it out so you can just see the little bits of beetroot. There and there's some juice there and I'm just going to pour it over like that. Okay and then last but not least I'm going to sprinkle over the remaining parsley and mint. I like to just put on a little bit of black pepper. I'm obsessed with black pepper. I put it on everything. And that is basically it. 
commercial taste test. Mm. It's so good. Fennel still has crunch, but it really works with all these other flavors. That's it. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time.